We have made the world's most expensive set of valves. And let's see how they behave, shall we? Oh, assemble the engine, go for a drive. Hey there, fellows. We got paid our salary in really hard currency. It'd be a shame to cut this up, given that there's a bunch of us. And we've decided to make some golden valves. For you, anything. Let's do this. The world's most expensive set of valves. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Once you finish watching this video, tell us in the comments what you think these valves are actually made out of. Okay, so here we got the lovely golden blanks. We've got one of them placed into the machine. We've cleaned up all around because we're gonna want to pick up the shavings. But we've got these, we have a machine, so let's do the machining. Check this out, guys. This is rather curious. Yes, I'm grabbing these with my hands. I mean, we are fitting them to the engine. We have made the world's most expensive set of valves. Here we have a regular old cylinder head that we're gonna fit these to. So let's do just that, see how they perform, see how they behave. All right, assemble the engine and go for a drive. Okay, we're looking good. The engine with its golden valves is fully assembled. And now we'll attempt to start it. It won't on the first try, but let's try firing it up. It works. Don't give it too much gas, let it warm up first. Giving in to his desire to immediately give it some gas. Yeah, of course, it's still cold. You can tell that engine operation is quite a bit quieter. And you even get the impression that... It runs fine even though it's barely turning. The rev count is low and the engine is much quieter. The sound softer because, well, these are golden valves, so the metal on metal action isn't going to be quite as loud. This is quite nice, but here's what I suggest we do. Go ahead and switch it off. From here we're gonna go ahead and adjust the ignition, start the car and, of course, go for a drive. I mean, that's an absolute must. So yeah, let's get out there, go for a drive, see how this engine behaves and performs.
Curious how long they last. Let's head out. Here we go. Let's see how this drives. Okay, almost got stuck right next to the entrance. Well, right off the bat I can tell you that everything seems to be alright. It's all good, the car drives, engine operation is pretty quiet, which is actually a bit suspect. But then I mean, that's good. Check this out, guys. The engine with its new valves made out of a precious metal. The car was able to drive for, well, we weren't out there for all that long. 144 kilometers in total. And the engine works perfectly fine. It's happy to start and drive, but here's the thing. I don't know if you can hear it. But it has developed a knock. That has to be the valves, because that wasn't there before. So yeah, the valves have started to emit some noises, and I'm curious to find out why so. Because this is a soft metal, and in the beginning the engine was operating really nicely. So yeah, they must have been pancaked. But instead of guessing, let's go ahead and split the engine open. Remove the valves from there and see exactly what has happened to them. They are really dark. Okay, from where I'm looking, everything is just fine. But let's see, this being a precious metal... So it apparently isn't supposed to stick to it. It's all really good. And there we are. I've wiped them clean. But for whatever reason, the exhaust valves were easy to clean off. While the intake valves are taking quite a bit more effort. Maybe they weren't getting hot enough for the filth to burn off? Eh, whatever. Anyway, from this perspective, looking at the inside of the combustion chambers, everything looks perfectly fine. But now I suggest we pull the valves out, place them onto the bench, and uh, closely examine them to see what sort of condition they're in. So check this out, guys, we've removed the retainers, and immediately we noticed something. This is rather curious. So when this rocker pushes the valve down, it would seem as if some of them sort of began to split. I mean, this is a soft material. The issue now would be how do we pull them out of the valve guides? We will give it a try, but our concern is that they might be stuck in there. But here we go. I guess we're gonna have to knock them out. They don't seem to want to budge. Yeah, we'll extract them somehow. Check this out, guys, we've removed the valves. 
And we actually noticed that the valve seats have now got a sort of golden coloration to them. Well, obviously golden valves are gonna do that. If only the whole thing was of this same sort of style. Wouldn't that be just terrific? As for what has become of the valves themselves, yeah, the seats have definitely left a mark, haven't they? The parts of the valves that were coming into contact with the seats, they have been visibly deformed. This is quite obviously the result of this being a fairly soft material. And I'm actually seeing the same exact effect on pretty much all of the valves. They have all taken a pretty nasty beating. I'd even go so far as to say that... Yeah, some of these valves have been fried. Some of them look like they're charred. But overall, I'd say that they've done a pretty decent job. Golden valves are something I'd recommend to anybody. And that's all I got for you, sub. Give this video a like. Catch you later.